Hello, good evening class. I am Deepak Bicholia from the Deccan University, Australia and here this is my the first demonstration lecture in the home tutor where I am giving the lecture about my the topic. This is the OFDM that is the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing and here I will give the short description of this technology in the wireless communication and how you can implement this technology to develop the 5G network network so as we know in our current scenario we are using the 4G technology uh, in our country but not exactly 4G there is a some constraint there is a some constraint just like a uh, throughput big data rate successive data rate and so on so OFDM is the one of the technology which can help to achieve the throughput and the successive data and after getting the successive data you can get the higher internet speed or the higher speed so the my topic is the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing and this technology I am using to enhance the throughput enhancement of the VMX by using the OFDM MIMO to develop the 5G network so basically what is OFDM it stand for orthogonal frequency division multiplexing so now I'm, I'm going with the one by one word what it means so first of all the multiplexing multiplexing means the the sending of the parallel data via single channel suppose if I am having uh, n channels and 1 and 2 and 3 and n4 now these channels are sending the data by the d1 d2 d3 and d4 to save the channel capacity and to save the efficient channel I am sending this data via the single channel so what I am doing here I am adding these channels by the D1 plus D2 plus D3 and D4 now I have now I can send in the two ways in the serial manner and in the parallel if I'm using the signal serial manner so I'm sending the d1 plus d2 plus d3 and d4 via single channel but if I am sending it through the <coughs> multiple ch channel or the sub channels so again I will classify these channel into the sub channels now d1 d2 d3 and d4 will send it at the receiver or this data is demultiplexed here this is the receiver sorry tran uh, transmitter TX where I'm sending the data the multiplexing will carried out at the receiver this is the RX so this is the general multiplexing technique but frequency division now the concept is going on about the frequency division what is the frequency division so frequency division is the type of the multiplexing technique where the frequencies are divided into the subcarriers to save the channels what is the advantages of the frequency division the advantages of the frequency division is that to we have to send the data at the same time the frequency may be the change okay now the advanced version of the frequency division is the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing what happening if I'm sending the data d1 and d2 while sending applying the frequency f1 dash and the f2 dash this is the subcarrier frequency of f our major frequency is f now this f major frequency is divided into the subcarrier frequency this is the f1 and f2 for the data d1 and d2 so <coughs> In the orthogonal, the two consecutive signals are the sending in a single channel 
and these two consecutive signals are the 90 degree phase shift to the each other what it mean kya hota hai 90 degree phase shift it means these data will not collapse to each other in the throughout the transmission how suppose if i'm having the characteristics like the xyz plan and this is the sinusoid signal having the amplitude a it's a phase shift and the some frequency f1 now the again same signal with the sub k frequency f2 will sand so how the orthogonality will maintain so there is a formulation to make the signal orthogonal suppose if there is a two sinusoid signal first a sin omega 1t and second signal is a sin omega 2t where is the a is the amplitude W is the phase, T is the time period. Now, if I am sending this signal to make the orthogonal, what I have to do? So, I have to prove that if I am taking the multiplication, A sine omega 1 T into A sine omega 2 T, T1 and T2. What I am doing? I am multiplying these signals and if I am taking the integration, in the time limit of the 0 to t well now the question is rises what is the t this is the t is the time period of taking by the transmission of the one symbol as we all know the communication students so the symbol is the grouping of the bits because we are sending the signals in the parallel ma uh, manner so we can send the signal in the form of the 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. <coughs> According to the what modul modulation technique I am using. To modulate this signal I am using the, sorry. I can use the BPSK. That is the binary phase shift king. QPSK. Quadrature phase shift king. And the COM quadrature amplitude modulation so according to the symbols 4 8 16 32 64 128 and so on we can use the these these modulation techniques so now the T is the time period of sending the one symbol. If there is, if I have the two sinusoid signal, A sin omega 1 T into A sin omega 2 T 2 and taking the integration 0 to T time period, if the output is 0, Agar inka kuch output zero aata hai, so, na, so we can say these signals are the orthogonal to each other. And this technique is using to make the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. If I'm talking about the various uh, technology of the 802.11, this is for the wireless communication where the Vimex is the one of the most efficient technology after the Wi-Fi where we can connect the uh, our sources wirelessly so this technique will help to achieve the robust data okay and uh, I think uh, some doubts will be clear at you and uh,
thank you so much if you have any queries any doubts any comments then you can contact me at the home tutor thank you